Hello, Kaya here from Mother's Awakening, bringing more goddess wisdom to you. Today I would love to share some wisdom from the goddess Madron. Um, Madron came to us through our work as that essence of the, the inner... Hi, Virginie. <laughs> nice to have you here. The essence of the that divine mother that we kind of we see as possible, like the mother that is is the essence of how we most want to show up. The and she and she kind of is like Madron in the um the mythologies in the world. She's from ancient Europe, she is like a, um, an all mother goddess. She's an earth mother goddess. So she, she's like, she holds it all. She is it all. She's fully, she's totally got this mothering thing down part with that, whether it's mothering the earth or mothering children. And she's here. Hi, Mandy. She's here to remind you that that divine mother that you can imagine is actually already inside you. You are so much more of that divinely, I've got this, I fully know what I'm doing, mother, than you give yourself credit for. You are, you know it all and also you actually are way more in alignment with her than you give yourself credit for. It's amazing how hard a time mothers give ourselves. Like, we're, we're so hard on ourselves. So, so Madron, hi, Christopher. Hi, lots of people are here again. <laughs> um, Madron is here to remind you that you, I'm, and I'm, I realise that I probably should wait till people say hello. I, it keeps telling me who's here, but maybe some people don't want to be called out. So sorry, I'll wait till you say hello. <laughs> Still learning how best to do Facebook Lives. Yeah, Madron is here to let you know that you've so got this. You know how to be that really wise, divine mother that you want to be. And one of the biggest gifts that I get from her energy is a reminder to drop down into my womb space. And like that's physically where your womb is or where your womb would be in your body. Because I find it profound when I drop my energy out of my head and a lot of us live a lot of our lives in our heads, like we're buzzing around in our heads. And when we're there, it's hard to connect with that deep wisdom and that I know what I'm doing. I know where I'm going. I've got this energy because the head space is such a frantic place to be in. But as soon as I drop down into my womb space and I breathe from my womb space and I talk from my womb space and I connect with my children from my womb space and I walk from my womb space, I have this deep knowing that I've got this and I, I know what to do next. I know how to do this parenting thing. I know what to say i know what's important i know my truth and also another gift that i've received from dropping into my womb space is a reclaiming of my power like when i had children it was so clear to me that i wanted to be unconditionally loving and i wanted to give to them and i wanted to really be there for them but it got to a point where that was imbalanced and I had lost my like sustaining power and it ended up being like giving from a place of of lack and like that you can't sustain that that's when you get resentful that's when you explode so dropping into my womb space brought me into this like it's like I brought together two different parts of me where I realized I could be powerful and I could be loving and I could be like autonomous and 
self caring and I can be loving. Like I can, they're not separate. They actually, they became one thing. They merged into one thing. I could be more of a loving mother by being more powerful and self connected. So that's the wisdom of the goddess Madron. Drop into your womb space. Practice dropping down there now. And like when you get up, when you, go and engage with them when you even just walk when, when you're doing anything practice walking from your womb space practice talking from your womb space and oh i i have some exciting news um i, I keep i keep mentioning that lisa and i have created this like this whole goddess activation system and we actually finally have it ready to share with you so i will put the page in the description or in the link I forgot to put it in the description yes so um you're so welcome gypsy so I'm gonna read um, an affirmation from Madron and as I read it say it out loud if you can and if you can't say it out loud at least say it in your mind and really feel it entering into your body feel it becoming a part of you feel it shifting you like really breathe the words in i am from the divine i am divine inside me i hold the perfect plan i need to raise my children i have everything i need within me to raise them in alignment with my heart's deepest truths. I am love and love flows abundantly through me to my children all the time. I am enough. I am the perfect mother for my children. So it is. It was lovely to connect with you. And I would, I'm going to do another one again soon on another goddess and I've temporarily forgotten which one she is. So I'm going to quickly check. The next one is, well, the next one's Esanat Lehei. And she is all about rhythms and cycles and really honouring those natural cycles that are always moving through our bodies because whether we honor them or not they will like they do need to have their way so working with them and in flow with them really serves you as a mother and as a woman and as a amazing human in this world so much love to you bye bye